All right, we're back at it again with another reaction video. Um, this guy Poncho, the saddest Andrew Tate clown. Oh boy, this is gonna be good. I mean, dude, I'm not gonna lie, man. I look good. I shaved pretty well that morning, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go through this video. This is gonna be funny. It's cool that she's sticking with you right now because you're trying to build yourself. But at the same time, if some guy like me comes up and gets in the way, she's gonna choose me over you. Because Last night I was scrolling on TikTok as one usually does. And I came across this dude. I don't think I've ever seen anybody that wants to be Andrew Tate as bad as this guy. Here's why you gotta break up with your girlfriend if you're not making six figures a year. Three seconds into the video, I already know it's bullshit. Brutal honest truth is that <laughs> girls need a man who can protect and provide for them. If you're not making at least 10k a month, how the fuck are you gonna protect and provide for your girl? Because you don't need six figures to protect and provide. Bro, people are under this massive impression that you don't need to make six figures to like protect your girl. This is insanity to me how this is the notion of, of our world. Bro, you don't need six figures to provide for your girl. I don't know why this is the notion of the online world. A lot of people are trying to say that nowadays. You must make six figures to provide. Sure, you can provide more and you can offer more and you can even provide more opportunities. But to provide enough to have a sustainable living, you don't need to make six figures. But then like people grow up hating rich people and think that rich people are assholes. And it's like, dude, it's just so funny to me. Also, this guy has a John Cena poster in the back. Like, why would you have another man in your bedroom? It's my office, not my bedroom. And also, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't see anything there. I don't know. Do y'all see anything? Yeah, I mean, don't know what the fuck he's talking about. On a poster. I'm like so confused. It's like a paper fucking John Cena thing. Like, what? All right, yeah, you caught me. I have a John Cena cutout right there, but what are you trying to say? He's over here like, uh, why do you have another picture of a man in your bedroom? Why would you have another man in your bedroom? Yeah, I have no idea what you're trying to say here. If you could explain it a little bit more for me, that would help, but uh, I'm still lost. Bro, I'm just, I'm just dead. Also, he's got all this hair underneath his bottom lip there. You should probably shave that off, but yeah, just giving some, giving some good advice, man. What the fuck? It's cool that she's sticking with you right now because you're trying to build yourself. But at the same time, if some guy like me comes up and gets in the way, she's going to choose me over you because I can provide more. Oh, shit. Fuck. Okay. Well, I guess that just kills my hopes and dreams of uh, keeping my girl whenever he walks around. It doesn't even matter that he looks like a third grader trying to cosplay as top G. I just can't compete. Some guy like me comes up and gets in the way. She's going to choose me over you because I can provide more. In this feast or famine world, women will always pick the best case scenario because they don't want to get hurt. And you being broke as fuck definitely hurts. Fuck. God damn. All right. So he already took my girl. Let's just see what else he has to say. Ah! Here is why it's easy for me to take your bitch. Bro, you already did. Stop <laughs> bragging about it. Yes, I'm skinny. But I have decent tone, you know, like I feel good, but- My friend, uh, unfortunately you do not have decent tone. Maybe for like a third grader? Here's the problem, is that all you got- Bro, this whole angle with the third grader thing is just funny. It's like, I obviously don't look like a third grader. <laughs> Bro, I'm even willing to admit I don't got much tone either. Like, I'm not built like fucking Hercules or anything, but... And I, I probably look like a sixth grader, and I don't have really shit there. But... <laughs> come on, bro. I'm like six foot one, and I have facial hair. I don't think third graders would be six foot one with facial hair. It's a joke about your physique. Not that deep. It's like, dude, I just love the comments people make because it makes zero sense. Guys that go to the gym, you're taking pre-workout, you got these stupid shaker bottles, making noises. You look like a bunch of fucking idiots. You need to have a high income skill set. And you saying to me that the gym is all that matters to me and it keeps me centralized, it means you have a lack of self-confidence. Yeah, nah, you know what screams lack of self-confidence? Going after people who go to the gym for no fucking reason and saying, you need a high skill income set. So he just said that completely wrong. It's high income skill set. That was funny, but fuck. God damn it. Dude, the point I'm trying to make is that if you can just lift shit and lift shit only, you have nothing else to provide value to the world with. Like, what do you what do you bring to the table? Like, I don't know if you look around you at all, but the world's pretty fucked up. And if you can't provide anything else of value, then like you're kind of contributing to why our world is so fucked up. Like you need to provide more value. You know, to be actually intellectually pleasing to people. You have to bring something valuable to the marketplace and help the world. Like you gotta be an innovator. Can't just sit there and lift metal all day. That doesn't provide anybody value. No shit. But the way you phrased it in your video was not how you're phrasing it right now. I'm responding to your video. You're not wrong when you describe it how you just described it. If you just lift all day, then you're not really contributing to anything. I get that. But in your video, you said that all guys that go to the gym 
are a bunch of idiots who need to find a high income skill set. And what you're saying when you say that is that you can't go to the gym and also have a high income skill set at the same time, which is not true. Bro, you just suck at talking. You're not a good communicator. You're not a good motivational speaker if that's what you're trying to be or a good realist because you're not even describing the shit right. You can't just sit there and lift metal all day. That doesn't provide anybody value. Okay, there, there, there's, there's machines that can do that. So it's like, I, I just don't understand the claim of that. Um, and if you don't agree with what I just said, you're honestly part of the problem. Fuck! God damn! Bro, you need some bitches. You need to stop going to the fucking gym. It does not matter. Also, you don't need some bitches, okay? Because that brings a ton of drama into your life, okay? If you're just going to be like this dude who scoops up a bunch of women, you're going to have tons of drama. You have tons of trauma. And you're going to be going through this like weird cycle forever and ever and ever trying to always please the next one. So him saying, oh, you just need to get a bunch of bitches, like, dude, you're, you're contributing to the problem. The only reason why I say you need to get some bitches is because when you make a video talking about how all dudes who go to the gym are idiots, you just look like a nerd or an insult who's never felt the touch of a woman. That's just the vibe that everybody gets from that. Also, it was a roast. It was a joke. It wasn't anything meant to be taken too seriously. This guy's hilarious. Like, and the funny part is, is that people that do these YouTube videos and they, and they have all this, like, you know, attention and whatnot. They make videos about, oh, like I have an ego. Like, bro, if you look in your background, you have an ego too. You have two trophies of YouTube subscriber plaques behind you. Ah! This dude's doing a whole lot of mental gymnastics right now. I think he brought up ego because we were talking about girls and he still doesn't realize that it was kind of just a joke. It wasn't me saying you need to get girls. I don't know your life, bro. You might have girls, you might not. I'm just making a joke. But instead of realizing that you're taking what I'm saying completely seriously and saying, Oh, well, he's saying I need to chase after girls and have sex all the time. No, bro. Okay, that feeds into the ego of doing what you do every, every, every single day. So it's just hypocritical. Also, you have another man that's in a paper, like, paper, whatever you want to call it, behind you. Like, who would put another man of John Cena behind them? Are you making any sense right now? Like, who would do that? Like, what man can you call yourself? Yeah, this stop fucking? going to the He has a John Cena poster of a, the hand like this. And you call yourself a man that you don't even make six figures a year? You need to feel what money feels like if you have another fucking man behind you as a paper poster. I mean, dude, this is insane to me. Fuck. Fuck. No, he's right, yo. I can't call myself a man because I have that. I don't know if he's trying to act like Andrew Tate or if he's trying to act like Mr. Krabs by this point. It's really hard to tell. How can you call yourself a man if you have a poster of John Cena behind you? Can you even call yourself a man after that? I don't think so. And also, if you're not making six figures a month. It's just hilarious. I, I, I just, I. Yeah, it's so funny that you can't even explain why. So the next time you think your girl's on luck, I have the keys to the castle. You look 12. <laughs> I think this dude's entire outlook on life is money's the only thing that matters. There's nothing else that matters. Your physique doesn't matter. Eating healthy doesn't matter. Being a good person with a good personality doesn't matter. Money is the only Just explained that before, but we're gonna keep going. Anything. I wonder what it's like being this dude's friend and like trying to tell him some real shit. It's like, hey, Jason, bro, my dad died. <laughs> well, I hate to inform you. You need a high income skill set. You worrying about your dead dad is gonna cause you problems in the liability of your business, and you're gonna end up not making as much money. <laughs> I love money. Money turns me on. And to be honest, man, stop worrying about these girls. Just start making love to the money. It's very optimal, and I love doing it in my free time. Somebody kill me. I don't care. Yeah, I'm not gonna continue watching this retard because you guys already know what he's gonna say. I understand that your entire outlook on life is just money, money, money. He's practically Mr. Krabs by this point. And if you want that to be your entire outlook on life, then so be it. I'm not here to force you to think any differently. But the majority of people watching, maybe 99% of people realize that that's just cap. There's other things that matter in life, like working on your body, working on your acts, working on your overall character, working on relationships. I could go on and on. Sure, money's important, but not as important as this guy is describing it to be. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. I want to hear your thoughts. And make sure to go follow my Instagram at WT. I got it on the screen for you right now. And yeah, if you guys want to see more content, got it on the screen for you right now. Appreciate you watching. Y'all have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch y'all. Peace.